Hi everybody, Robert Jones, back in the kitchen, well, sorta, doing a taste test sorta combo cooking thing today. I have something totally different to try. Boom! This is something called Hanvo, H-A-N-V-O, Hanvo, by Gips. Um, this is from uh, Western India. I won't even try to pronounce it because I'll get it wrong and then everybody will be all yelling at me and hating me on the internet. But anyway, we're making some hanvo today. So this is a mix. This could be made fresh, of course. Um, I happened to find this at the Indian store and I was intrigued. If you guys look at the box, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a... It looks like cornbread, but I have a feeling it's not going to taste like cornbread because it's made with um, rice and lentils and chilies and... All kinds of good stuff. It's even got sesame seeds. So we're going to try this box mix out. Yes, it's sort of cooking, but um, it's got some instructions. I thought I would do something different. So what the heck? We'll try. We'll do a combo. It'll be cooking and taste test. All right, you guys. Let's get started. Okay, guys. So we've got our uh, mix here. And in reading this, I have discovered that um, it requires a couple things I don't have. So we're going to fake it. But I'm still going to make this. Okay, so it says to mix the content of the package uh, with 50 grams, uh, 1 and 3 quarters curd, 40 grams of oil, 1 and a half ounces of oil, and 600 milliliters of water keep aside for 10 minutes. So apparently that means let it sit for 10 minutes. So um, I do not have any curd, so I'm going to be substituting yogurt because it's very close to curd. And um, it also calls later on for sesame seeds. I'm going to be using some sesame seed oil. And it also calls some chili, chili peppers, and I'm going to be using these peppers. So let's get to making here. All right. So the first thing it says is it wants how much curd? One and three quarter ounces of curd, which is a really weird measurement, if you ask me. So I'm going to dollop out just under two ounces of yogurt here. We'll call that an ounce. We'll call that three quarters of an ounce. All right, so there's our curd. And then an ounce and a half of oil. So do, 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 ounce and a half. Okay, Google. 600 milliliters in U.S. cups. 600 milliliters equals 2.536 U.S. customary cups. There we go. So two and a half cups of water. All right. I just added the water in there. Let's give this a mix. Interesting. Snippy, snippy. Everybody loves the snippy, snippy. Ah, I'm spilling it. All right, that just made a big mess, but there we go. Okay, so we're gonna mix this up. I swear this looks like cornbread. American stock cornbread, cornbread. Okay, so it says to mix this up, which mixed up pretty easily. Ooh, it's getting thicker and fluffier and so, okay, now it says to let this sit for 10 minutes. So we'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, you guys, 10 minutes has elapsed, and look at this. It has super puffed up. It's got a lot of, look at that. That's crazy. All right, so we're going to set this aside. Okay, Google. 60 milliliters in cups. 60 milliliters equals 0 0.254 U.S. customary cup. Okay, you guys, we're over here at the stove, and there's a couple different methods for cooking this. Um, the one that I'm choosing is to turn the heat on and to do it in a pan. It's supposed to take 12 minutes on one side, then you're supposed to flip it like a giant pancake and do it for 10 more minutes. So, the first thing it tells us to do here is to put a quarter cup of oil in the pan and get it hot. So, I am using some canola oil here. Do, 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 do. Quarter cup of oil and making it hot. Making it hot. Making it hot. Okay, now it says to put in a teaspoon of sesame seeds, which I do not have, so I'm going to add a tiny bit of sesame oil instead for the flavor. I wish I had some sesame seeds. I didn't know I was going to need them. And then to put in two to three 
chili peppers, which I don't have whole ones, so I'm going to be using some chili flakes. Chili flakes. Look at it sizzle. Um, and we're supposed to just cook this for a minute just to scent the oil, which is a typical thing in Indian cooking. So that is looking pretty delish. Now we're supposed to pour in our lovely mix. Oh, it smells good, you guys. Pouring in our mix, which has been sitting and all that. Get it all. Try to get it level here. All right. Now we're supposed to put this on medium heat for 12 minutes. So let me turn down the heat a little bit. And then you're supposed to cover it with a lid. So we're going to cover this and let the magic happen for 12 minutes. All right. We'll see you in a minute. Well, we're just going to cut in right here in the middle of the video while this thing is cooking because I thought I should tell you what's in the box, uh, in the Hanvo box, since this is the taste test video and that's what we do. We talk about the ingredients and the tastes and all that kind of stuff. So in here is rice flour, lentils flour, not lentil flour, lentils flour, semolina, which is another wheat, sugar, partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, shortening, uh, palmoline oil and sesame oil, salt, citric acid, sodium bicarbonate, it says raising agents, uh, sesame, chili powder, mustard, asafoetida, turmeric, and butylated, butylated hydrianistol, a preservative. It's also in, uh, looks like German and French and English. Why is it in English twice? I don't know. It's got British English and American English. That's really funny. American, British. Um, it also has it in Spanish. There you go. Packed in a plant that may have dairy, wheat, flour, tree nuts, sesame seeds, and mustard. And then it says really tiny, really tiny. Can you guys even see that right here? Important. Store in a clean, cool, dry place. Keep free of moisture and humidity, insects, pests, strong odors, sunlight, and dust. Keep it out of the dust. Um, this has 140 calories. It says it has 12 servings. 12 servings? This doesn't look very big. Um, so we'll go through the instructions on the way. And I'm kind of excited to be trying something new like this. So, all right, let's get started. Oh, we're already started. Now you know what's in it. Guess what time it is? All right, you guys, let's take a peeky poo. Hopefully that's not too hot. Nope. All right. There's our 12 minute mark. Let's zoom in a little bit. Y'all can see that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, so. Question is how are we gonna flip this? So it seems a little stuck. No, well, it's not stuck. According to this, trying to make sure. I don't know. Feels feels kind of stuck. All right. Now, according to some videos I watched, you can do this. Supposedly, you can flip it. Yes. Yes. And then slide it back in the pan, and then you make a big mess. All right. Well. All right. So I'm putting it back. Don't want to waste any. All right, so now we're supposed to go another 10 minutes. Okay, you guys, turning off the heat and taking this off the heat. It's supposed to be done. I swear it looks like cornbread. Doesn't smell like cornbread, but it looks like cornbread. All right, let me put this in a dish and we will get to tasting. I'm so excited. Okay, guys, I got my trusty cutting board here, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna slide this puppy out on the board here. Oh, it's a little messy. Never done this before, but let's see what happens. Ta-da! All right, let's cut it and eat it. All right, so I'm just going to take a little, a little wedge here. Oh, it's got a nice crispy bottom. Take a little crispy wedge. Oh. 
Okay, so <clears throat> a little uh, garnish here. I, you know, I kind of just let it sit there like that. I had to give it a little garnish and give it a little pizzazz. And now um, let's get to tasting. It is the moment you've been waiting for. Woo! Okay, guys. Uh, this is the Hanvo. We did the Hanvo mix today. And check it out. Hanvo. How good does that look? That looks really delicious. Um, I, you know, it has the look of an American cornbread, although we know there's no corn in it. It's just got rice and beans and stuff like that all ground up. Um, it's a little crispy. Can you hear that on top? Um, and I just added the tomato and the, the yogurt because I thought it looked nice. Um, so let's do the taste. I'm going to take a little piece of this. I'm going to take a little sour cream, or sorry, yogurt. Take a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good, India. It tastes like polenta. It has a, a soft, creamy middle like polenta does right here. And then it has a crispy outside, like a crispy cornbread. I mean, I keep saying cornbread. I know it's not cornbread, but it tastes like cornbread. It tastes like a spicy cornbread. And uh, it's got the chili flake. That's the black thing there. Let's see if I can get a bite of this. Ooh, it's a little windy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. It's a little strange preparation, but this is really good. Mm. I would totally make this again. I might even make this from scratch. Mmm. Mmm. I would say this is probably a good seven. I can't say it's my favorite thing in the world, but if I were at a restaurant or at somebody's house and they offered this to me, yeah, as you can see, I keep eating it. So, yeah. Hanvo. Okay, you guys, Hanvo. Have you had it? Do you want to have it? You want to try it? Um,. I wonder how it's different mix versus fresh. Uh, if you're Indian, if you grew up eating this, if you've had this, maybe you've gone to a restaurant and had this. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Robert Jones. This is a Taste Test. I hope you guys come back for more. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. And I'll talk to you guys next time.